Hello, Alan Blaine here. Today, I am excited to talk to you about five tips to building a duplicatable network marketing business, which is the objective for everybody that would like to enjoy true freedom, leverage of themselves, impact in many people's lives, and freedom of time, freedom of money, freedom of geography to live anywhere you want, right? So I think this is an important conversation because to buy the dream or sell the dream of freedom that this business offers and not understand the fundamental principles of how to create duplication is would be it would be sad to me to, to not to have to see people chasing after something that's really not something that they have a very good chance of reaching. So I want to talk about these five things real quick that can help you build a more duplicatable business and create leverage in your life. So the very first thing, the first principle of the five I'd like to share with you is understand the objective. What is the objective? The objective is to empower a large group of people to do a few simple tasks on an ongoing basis. That is point number one. Our objective, empower a large group of people to do a few simple tasks on an ongoing basis. Number two is it's not about what works and sells product or sign enrolls people. It's about what duplicates, right? Why do I say this? I say this because you or I could potentially, somebody could potentially have the ability to, or the resources to run uh, a 30 second ad at halftime of a Super Bowl, let's say, and point people through a funnel that was created that ends up dumping them out on your website, creates enrollees, could create signups, create sales, and it would work, quote unquote, but it wouldn't duplicate. Who could do that? right? Who has the resources to do that and run Super Bowl ads? So that's an example of why your processes and your systems in your network marketing business must be duplicable, duplicatable by the average person. Now, I want to make a, a, something really clear here, hopefully, is how you meet people and have conversations with them. Whether you meet them online, offline, whether you meet them in private groups, whether you meet them at church, whether you meet them in, in local groups in your community, you join, that does not necessarily, whether you do a, ex, a booth at an expo, that's not necessarily, that does not need to be duplicatable, quote unquote. What does need to be duplicatable is the process you take the person through from them becoming a prospect to them enrolling in your company, okay? That's what must be duplicatable. So, so number two is to Make sure that we're doing something that's duplicatable, our systems, our processes, not just something that works. All right, number three, if you drive your lines, if you have to artificially drive your lines, meaning if you have to take people, your prospects, and enroll them under members of your team to create rank advancements, to create paychecks for people in your team, that, my friends, is not duplicatable. You might hope and you might pray it wakes somebody up to the possibility, and it sometimes will, but it's not duplicatable. I am 100% for working deep within my organization, helping people help their people get started, being a third-party resource, being a, 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 you know, adding credibility, helping them with their network. I'm all for that, but to artificially build depth, to artificially take this person A and sign them up under person C who they don't even know and there's no connection, no correlation, not a good duplicatable plan. Okay, um, number four is follow the invest, learn, teach, or maybe said another way, um, learn, do, teach philosophy. And this is what I mean by that. From the very beginning of your business and it's not too late to relaunch and restart today, Learn something, do some, take some action with it, and teach others to do the same. And I say this because so many people get into this business and they believe, wrongly so, that they need to learn everything about every product in the catalog. They need to lose the 60 pounds of weight, let's say they're overweight. They need to lose the, the weight first 
before they start talking to people. If that's your philosophy, if you think you have to get a certain degree or a certain certification or you have to know everything about, have all the answers to that might come at you, the objections and know how to handle every single one, know all the answers to the products in the catalog or you have to have this perfect health if you're in health and wellness, this perfect health story or this, you, you gotta be the picture of fitness before you begin to share with others. If that process takes you months to accomplish, and by the way, 22 years of using my company's products and the past seven years of actively building our business and I still get questions I don't know the answer to and I'm okay with it. The best answer I can give somebody is, great question, I don't know. Let me look into that and get back to you. Is that okay? And that's my bulletproof suit. I mean, there's no question anyone can ask me that I won't feel comfortable with because if I don't know the answer, I know I'm digressing here a little bit, but this is important for you. I've got the answer. The answer is I don't know. Great question. Let me look into it and get back to you. So you'll never know it all is the point. You'll never be the perfect, perfect, perfect picture of health because life is not perfect. So why wait? Don't wait. If you wait two months to learn all about the products before you start sharing with people, that's what will duplicate. And if every two months, everybody took two months, that's way too long to ever really reach momentum and duplication and enjoy what this business has to offer and the impact that this business has to offer. So the last thing, number five, is do not make recruiting dependent on yourself and your skills and your smooth talking ability. Here's number five, make recruiting dependent on a third party tool. Make, I'm gonna say it again, this is so important. Make recruiting dependent on a third party tool, a video, your upline, a face, a group chat, uh, maybe a three-way call, um, a video. Did I say a Facebook group already? An event, a Zoom. Make it all about something other than yourself and your own skills. That's duplicatable. Anybody can point, guide, and direct people to answers, to information, to education. So, after you've gone through the inviting formula, and after you have this prospect ready to be invited, you should be, and you've maybe shared a quick version of your story and your experience with the product or the business or whatever, or maybe somebody else's story you've shared. At that point, if your lips are still moving, you better be pointing to a third party tool or person. You better be edifying, building up, selling, if you will, that third party tool, that third party Facebook group, that third party video, that third party Zoom, whatever the case may be, because that, my friends, is duplicatable. To be the greatest salesperson on planet Earth is not duplicatable. To have all the answers and be able to talk somebody right into the business or into using the products is not at all duplicatable, okay? So I hope that's helpful. In recap, number one, if you wanna have a duplicatable system and enjoy massive growth, expansion that will be beyond your wildest dreams, impact in literally tens of hundreds of thousands of people's lives over time with consistency over time. Um, freedom of income, freedom of impact, I guess freedom of geography, uh, freedom of time. Number one, create and follow and execute a duplicatable system, right? Empowering a large group of people to do a few simple tasks consistently over time, ongoing over time. Okay. Number two is it's not about what works to sign people up and move volume. It's about what duplicates. So make sure you're doing that. Um, number three, if you artificially drive your lines and create rank advancements in your team, again, I'm not talking about building with your team's network, but if you artificially do that with people outside their network, it will not duplicate. Uh, number four, Number four is uh, our business should be built on the learn, do, teach philosophy. We're going to learn something. We're going to immediately put it into action and do, and we're going to teach others to do the same. We're not going to wait to become an expert. And number five, we're going to use a third party tool to do the education, to do the quote unquote selling. They can sell themselves once they receive that education. It's not going to be, it's going to be independent of us and our sales skills. I hope that helped. If it did, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more training videos like this. 
Um, this is based on seven years in the industry, the past almost six years full time. Um, God's blessed Art Nicole and my business to be one of the fastest growing, probably the fastest growing in Neolife North America and our company. And um, we have, uh, you know, just having success, having fun, helping a lot of people. And, and our objective is to help as many people as possible. So, um, speaking of leverage, speaking of duplication, videos. Hey, I can make a video and share this and not have to repeat this message time and time and time again. So anyway, hope this was helpful. We'd love to hear a comment from you. Love a, love a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next video. It's Alan Blaine. Bye for now.